Like thousands of Americans, our next guest suffers from obesity, a disease that has cost her her health, her confidence, and in her opinion, she says her life. My name is Jessica. I feel as if my weight at any day is going to end my life. I'm writing in to the show in hopes of a miracle. When I was in the fourth grade, a nurse weighed me. I weighed about 250 pounds. And I remember just breaking down on the scale when she did it. Every day that I left the house, I would get to school knowing that somebody was going to mess with me that day. Laughing and pointing and making jokes. Guys would pretend to like me just to make their friends laugh. I wouldn't eat at school because that was always their favorite time to mess with me. I graduated from college and I thought that going to college people would have to be more professional, but it wasn't like that. I was told by one of my teachers that because of my weight, it would be really hard for me to find a job. That was my last my last effort to try anything. About four years ago, I had a doctor tell me that I wouldn't make it to my 30th birthday. The last time I weighed myself, it was 482. But it's getting worse, and I know it is. I live with my parents. I stay at home all the time. I do not have a job. But I can't drive because I don't fit my hemisphere anymore. Really. I have never been in a relationship. I feel like my life is pointless the suicide thoughts start. I just want good things for Jessica. I want her so bad to lose weight. I don't want Jessica to die. I can't live without her. I just want to be happy and healthy. And I will be praying every day that I can get a call from the doctors. Jessica's lifetime battle with obesity made her a ticking time bomb. So we sent her to get an emergency physical with Dr. Kai Nishi. In the driver's seat, Rosie Mercado. We're on the way to pick up Jessica. We are going to take her to Dr. Nishi. I hope this is an eye opener for her to say, enough is enough, time for change. Hey, hey, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I read your story. <laughs> when I read some of this stuff, I was like, I know what that feels like. Did you ever like hear the names? Yes. Girl, what names did you get? Oh, I got cow. There are moments that I'd break down and cry. God, I didn't want to go out. I didn't, I just didn't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to deal with the staring and the people looking at each other and laughing. And I didn't want and to. And we know, and we know, yes, we know. Like, people think that we don't know. I just try not to make eye contact with them at all. Why? I didn't want to give them the satisfaction of knowing that I hurt. What's your biggest pain right now? It's that nobody accepts me for who I am. Who are you? I don't even know. I've never been able to answer that question. I'm gonna pull over right now. Look at me, I want you to look at me. Every time I look at you, you look away. I know, I'm with that, but I can't. No, you're an incredible woman, so we need to start by changing the way that you talk. Look at me, I see who you are. Jessica, this is your life. You have to change it around right now, or you could stay in the same place. You're either a participant or a spectator. How bad do you want to change? Give it to me, yes you can. I can't, it's for the woman that doesn't want to change her life. Is that who you are? No. Exactly, do you want to participate in your own life? Yes. Who's in control? Me. Exactly. Close your eyes. I matter. I matter. This ends here, Jessica. It's your choice. Are you ready to change your life? I am. The question is, are you going to take the next step? Let's go do this. Hi there, I'm Dr. Nishi. What we're going to do today, we'll do a physical exam. We'll check your vital signs. 152 over 86, and the heart rate is 84. That would be considered um, elevated blood pressure. We will also weigh you and do an ultrasound. The one thing we look for is what we call fatty liver disease. Do you want me to stay here with the ultrasound with you? Yeah? Do you know uh, what your weight was the last time you were weighed? I believe it was 482. Okay, so I see your weight is 473 and a half. That's great news. You're already moving in the right direction. For Jessica, it is really imperative for her to lose weight. Losing a few hundred pounds is very difficult to do, but it's certainly very possible and it's better than the alternative.